Question 24. There are three different types of sandwiches on a shelf. There are four egg sandwiches, five cheese sandwiches, and two ham sandwiches. Erin takes a random two of these sandwiches. Work out the probability that she takes two different types of sandwiches. Now for this one, there are going to be a lot of different combinations with some quite confusing probabilities. So the easiest way to organize this is in a tree diagram. While there might be lots of different ways that we could do this, a tree diagram will allow us to really organize our thoughts. So we have a starting point, and our first three, op first three options are to go for egg, then cheese, and then all ham. So they create our first three branches. Now for egg, that's f the chance of choosing egg as the first sandwich would be 4 out of the 11 sandwiches that we have. The probability of choosing cheese would therefore be 5 out of 11. And ham is written as 2 out of 11. Now here's where things can get a little bit confusing. Because after she's chosen one egg sandwich, she could then for a second sandwich, choose egg, ham, or cheese. The same thing after choosing a cheese sandwich could be egg, ham, or cheese. And then for the final one, for if she chose ham first, she could still choose egg, ham, or cheese. So each branch is now separated into three different parts. So why did we do this as a tree diagram? Well, it allows us to organize the probabilities because if she's already taken one egg sandwich, the chance of her choosing egg for the second sandwich would be three out of 10. There are only 10 sandwiches left. For ham, that would be five. There's still five left, but that's out of 10. And for cheese, oh, sorry, the ham one is actually 2 out of 10. The cheese is 5 out of 10. So on the second thing, if she chose cheese first, there are still going to be 4 egg sandwiches out of 10. For ham, that's still 2 out of 10. But for the cheese, if one's gone, that would be 4 out of 10. On our last combinations, for the ham, we would have four egg sandwiches out of ten left, only one ham out of ten, and five cheese out of ten. These are the probabilities for the second event happening. Now the only ones that we're actually wanting are the ones that are where there are two different types of sandwiches. So if we write down what the combinations are, we've got egg and egg, egg and ham, egg and cheese, cheese and egg, cheese and ham, cheese and cheese, ham and egg, ham and ham, ham and cheese. Now if we're looking at the ones that are different, we want these ones where the letters are different. So basically going to be ignoring the ones where everything is the same. The probability of getting an egg sandwich and then an egg sandwich don't need. So the egg and then the ham, we've got 4 over 11 multiplied by 2 over 10. That gives us a probability of 8 out of 110. For egg and cheese, that's going to be 4 over 11 times 5 over 10 which is 20 over 110. For cheese and egg, we have 5 over 11 times 4 over 10, which is 20 over 110. For cheese and ham, we have 5 over 11 
multiplied by 2 over 10 which is 10 out of 110 ham and egg we have technically already worked out but that's 2 over 11 multiplied by 4 over 10 which is 8 in 110 chance and the ham and cheese is 2 over 11 multiplied by 5 over 110 which is 10 over 110 all of these probabilities are cho chances, choices and options so we add them all together to give us our total probability so we have 8, 20, 20, 10, 8 and 10 so 28, 48, 58, 66, 76 out of 110 now we could have also worked this out probably much quicker if we'd looked at the three values that are the same, so the egg and egg, cheese and cheese, ham and ham, and then took that away from our whole number one. It should still also give us the exact same number.